Welcome sa sip9.com This video, tutuloy natin ang ating series on um, geometric sequence no? and uh, sa previous video, ang sinagutan natin ay uh, very similar question yun nga lang, ang sequence natin doon was uh, uh, sequence of decimal numbers no? So, dito, ang sasagutan natin ay uh, about fractions and then we still answer the same questions no? uh, kasi ito rin yung mga tanong doon sa previous video Now, we have uh, 4 third, 2 thirds, 1 third, and 1 six. So, the first question is, is it a geometric sequence? Now, uh, kung sinusundan nyo yung ating video na to, ang sabi natin, makonsider natin ang isang sequence, a geometric sequence, if we, uh, if they have, the cons they have a constant ratio, no? If the terms have a constant ratio. So, ibig sabihin na constant ratio, if, uh, no, if the successive terms, no? Ibig sabihin ng successive terms, magkakasunod pareho ang kanilang ratio or yung quotient nila, then you can say that uh, the sequence is a geometric sequence. So here, uh, titignan natin isa-isa yung mga magkakasunod kung pare-pareho ba yung kanilang ratio. No? So we can get the ratio by dividing a particular term by by the term before it. No? For example, two th here, yung una natin is 2 thirds divided by 4 thirds. No? Okay, so this is equal to 2 thirds times uh, 3 over 4, di ba? Pag nag-divide tayo ng fraction, ang ginagawa natin, minimultiply natin, and then kinukuha lang natin yung reciprocal ng divisor, no? Kaya siya naging 3 fourth. So pag minimultiply natin, magiging uh, 6 over 12. And 6 over 12, we can, uh, we can reduce this to lowest terms by dividing uh, the numerator by 6, magiging 1. And then dividing the numerator, the denominator also by 6. Okay? So, yun na Oh, sorry. One, not 1 6, but 1 half. 12 divided by 6 is 2. Okay, so dito, sa magkasunod na to 1 half yung kanilang uh, ratio. No? Next, we have 1 third. Dito naman tayo. Sa Paris na to. 1 third divided by uh, 2 thirds. This is equal to 1 third times uh, 3 over 2. No? Uh, pag nag-multiply tayo ng fraction, anong ginagawa natin? We multiply lang natin yung uh, denominators tsaka numerators nila, di ba? So, numerators muna, we have 1 times 3 is 3, and then the denominators, we have 6. And again, 3 over 6 can be reduced to 1 half, no? So, 3 divided by 3 is 1, 6 divided by 3 is 2. Okay, so 1 half. Uy, mukhang pareho sila, no? So, isa na lang yung test natin, this one. So, the last one is 1 6 divided by 1 third. So, that becomes 1 6 times 3 over 1. Still, magiging 3 over 6, 3 6, which is equal to 1 half, no? So, same dito. So, yung tatlong, ano nila, yung tatlong ratios, or, uh, ay one half meaning sila ay geometric sequence no pare pareho lahat so dapat ang susunod natin na term diyan magiging times one half na tayo magiging 1 over 12 na siya di ba para pag dinivide natin to divided by 1 6 magiging one half siya so ang susunod na term diyan kung tinatanong for example that's 1 over 12 so is it a geometric sequence yes no the, the answer is yes what is the first term well, I think this is obvious. First term is 4 thirds. What is the constant ratio? 3 and 1 half, no? And what is the seventh term? Okay, para makuha natin yung seventh term, uh, gagamitin natin syempre yung formula no? na ginamit natin doon sa previous video. D sub n equals D sub 1 uh, times R raised to the n minus 1. So, D sub n equals D sub 1 times r raised to the n minus 1, no? Ano ba yung t sub n? Yan yung nth term, no? So, hinahanap natin dito 7th term, meaning we are looking for t sub 7. Ano ang t sub 1? Yan yung first term. Sinagot natin yan sa question number 2. Ang first term is 4 thirds. What is the constant ratio? r? That's 1 half, no? And then... Yung n natin, 
n is the same as n, the n here. This is 7, n minus 1 means 7 minus 1. Okay? 7 minus 1. Meaning the final um, expression is 4 thirds times 1 half raised to the 6th power. So, ano ba yung 1 half raised to the 6th? Diba? Uh, 1 half, na 6 na beses mo siya multiply no? 1 half times 1 half times 1 half times 1 half. 6 na ba? Okay, so ilan yan? Pag nag-multiply ka ng fraction, may multiply mo lang naman lahat ng nasa numerators, di ba? Ayun lahat ng numerators, di ba? So, magiging 1 lang yan. Tapos, i-multiply din natin lahat ng denominators. We have 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is uh, 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32, times 2 is 64. Tama? 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. So, meaning, this is equal to 4 thirds times 1 over 64, no? And kung nag-aaral kayo ng cancellation, no, kung napanood nyo ating video on cancellation, pwede na kayo mag-cancel dito. Pwede nyo i-cancel yung 4 at 64, no? But of course, you can also, yeah, you can multiply if you want, no? So, multiply natin. Still, this is a, uh, these are fractions. So, magiging 4 times 1 is 4 over uh, 3 times 64, which is 100. That's 192, I think. Kasi ang 4 times 3 is 12, tapos 180. That's 192. And then you can reduce to lowest terms, which is 1 uh, divided by 4 from... Uh, you divide uh, the numerator by 4 and the uh, denominator by 4. That's 1 over... What is 192 over 4? That's... Lanyan, 4? 16, 32. That's 8. So this is 1 over 48. 1 over 48. Yun yung T sub 7 natin. Okay? Okay? Now, um, from here, no? no? Yung cancellation, kung uh, gusto nyo matutunan, meron tayong series dyan. Paano tayo nagka-cancel? Para hindi na tayo map tumagal sa multiplication. We have 4 third times 4 thirds times 1 over 64. So, pwede na tayo mag-cancel no? by dividing both the numerator and the denominator by 4. So, ito, we have 4 divided by 4, 1. We have 64 divided by 4 is ilan? 16. No? So, 1 times 1 is 1. And then, 3 times 16 is 48. No? Still, pareho pa rin siya dito, pero mas mabilis siya. No? So, meron tayong ano dyan, meron tayong uh, series on, tutorial series on cancellation. So, Tignan nyo na lang, no? hanapin nyo sa ating YouTube channel. Okay, so pwede natin itry, i-verify, no? 1 over 48 ngayon pang pito. So this is T sub 1, T sub 2, T sub 3, T sub 4. Anong T sub 5 natin? Times 1 half, di ba? That's 1 over 12. Ang T sub 6 natin, times 1 half. Sabi natin kanina kasi 1 half yung ratio. 1 over 24 at saka yung T sub 7. We have, uh, ilan? 1 over 20. Um, 1 over 48. Well, sabihin nyo, dapat nag-multiply na lang tayo, hindi na lang tayo gumamit ng formula. Yes, we can do that, no? Pero kung pag ang inano na, pag tinanong na 80 sub 20, no? Minsan, mas okay pag gumamit tayo ng formula. But usually, sa geometric sequence, dahil may exponent, siya malaki yung numbers. Hindi naman talaga nagbibigay na sobrang laking exponent. Pag kumuha kayo ng test, no? Or kaya usually, hindi na lang siya pinapasimplify. No? Pari, ang hinahanap mo is T sub 20. So, magiging 4 third times 1 half raised to the 19 ka, ba? So, usually, okay na to no? sa mga teachers. Uh, because it's very, 2 to the 19 is very, very, very large number. No? Okay, so that's it for this uh, video. Maraming salamat. I hope uh, meron kayo natutunan. And of course, gusto ko kayong uh, imbitahin sa zipnayan.com. Diyan yung ating website. Nandiyan nakalista yung ating mga videos. No? And uh, may mga uh, practice uh, exercises tayo dyan. Um, gusto ko rin kayong imbitahin na mag-subscribe uh, sa ating YouTube channel. Nandiyan sa uh, upper, no, 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 lower, 
right no uh, ng video may ano kayo makita subscribe button sa you can subscribe para mas uh, ano kayo no mas updated kayo pag meron tayong bagong video maraming salamat see you in the next tutorial